That's the atomic bomb exploding at Nagasaki. The film was taken in a B-29 many miles away. All of you who see this picture can judge for yourselves the extent of the menace to civilization of this new weapon. Civilized people can only demand that such power be directed not towards their obliteration, but to the benefit of mankind. This is the Emperor of Japan having a look at the ruins of his capital before the decision to surrender was made. Devastation confronted him wherever he went. Tokyo was flat. These pictures are extracts from a Japanese film captured by the American army. Hirohito examined maps of the capital showing the enormous areas of ruin. It must have been obvious to him that surrender was the only course. It should have been clear to all Japanese that the so-called Son of Heaven, as a divinely inspired leader, had been bombed out. In a Yokohama hospital, an American sergeant, John Archinal, is seen giving some of his good blood to save the life of Japan's former premier, General Tojo. Archinal must have been very anxious that Tojo should be tried as a war criminal. Tojo didn't use his samurai swords or his special harakiri knife. He preferred an American 3-2 automatic. But he bungled the job, so here he is getting a blood transfusion. He directed the attack on Pearl Harbor. He started the war in the east. He bears much of the responsibility for death marches and countless barbarities. His life having been saved, he will have quite a lot to answer for. Without the inclusion of Mount Fuji, no 